Hey guys, welcome back to the build log for my custom water cooled build in the Fractal Design Define Mini C. Um, kind of filming this a little bit sooner than expected. Uh, I, I wanted to do it last night actually, but I was just too tired. But I've made a lot of progress uh, on this build. And essentially, the only thing left to do is my two big bends and then the cables. Of course, I'm I'm waiting for some more supplies. I ran short on a couple things. That should be here tomorrow. So uh, my my goal of having this done by the weekend, I think, is going to be uh, totally achievable. Um, as well as I really need to get some other stuff done on a couple other projects. But anyway, to keep this one rolling here, I figured uh, the the last remaining bits and the final touches will will save for part. Four, I guess there's going to be far, four parts, but uh, as far as this one goes, um, a lot has been done since the last time uh, I, I showed you guys what was going on with the second part of the build log. Uh, obviously, as you can see, uh, pretty much everything is fitted in here, as I mentioned before. Um, I've created all of my custom acrylic panels. This is going to be really hard to get on camera, but um, there's a piece back here. I, I broke out the moto saw and, and um, cut some custom pieces. If you're wondering why these have kind of a satin black sheen and with these bright lights and um, just the way the camera picks it up, it uh, the sheen is pretty close to the case. The only difference is the case is obviously painted metal it's got a little bit of a texture to it whereas these are very smooth but all that is is a matte black uh, or a satin black whatever you want to call it vinyl that I skinned over now I did leave the piece down here I left the glossy black because not only does it sort of match the look of the back plate here but when this is full of the Aurora coolant uh, and since there's an LED hidden behind the shroud here, you'll actually see some reflections off of the uh, that sort of shroud down there. So that's going to end up giving us a really cool effect, I believe. I did something similar before, and it was subtle. I think this is going to be a lot more accentuated. But since I didn't mention the lighting, uh, and if you've seen my previous builds, you'll know that uh, I like to hide all of my LEDs and shine them in towards the build sort of strategically. Um, so as I normally do, I used acrylic to sort of create shrouds in areas where I knew I wanted the lighting to be. I knew there's just no way to really properly do anything over here, but that's fine because I have a uh, seven, uh, seven and three quarter inch LED strip here that almost perfectly matches the um, the length of the reservoir so that will really uplight this and help make this a focal point of the build and then I have a shorter like four inch strip in here that's going to cast light in at an angle and what I do is um, and I'm not gonna be able to show you maybe in the future I will but on the back side of these rigid LED strips I just double up on um, mounting tape in such a way that I can kind of like tuck them into the corner and have them like shooting at a 45 degree angle uh, and then by having these shrouds here not only does that hide the obvious uh, LED but it prevents it from glaring on to the side panel uh, which can really kind of ruin the look of the build um, hopefully I can get a good shot of what's going on and down, down in here but I ended up after fooling around with a couple different orientations, having the pump mounted on the floor down there just wasn't working out. It was interfering. Um, the way that you have to mount the feet on this DDC pump was interfering with, uh, you know, the the native parts of the case down there. Even though I, I tried cutting a few pieces out, I just couldn't get it to work. So what I ended up doing, uh, after some trial and error, ended up working out much better. So I have just kind of built my own plate that I mounted to the front here so that I could mount the pump horizontally and then just used probably a gazillion dollars worth of bits power fittings down here uh, to 
plumb it all up and make it work. So still the same general layout. I've got the reservoir feeding the inlet to the pump down there and then it's coming out and over and into the uh, reservoir. Um, I put my junction at the inlet port with the um, drain valve, which I'll show you from the backside. And then of course this comes over and this is going to go up and we've been over all that before. So um, I've got all of my front panels, everything is wired to the motherboard. So aside from plugging in my 24 pin and my, my uh, cables to the GPU, um, everything here is pretty much done and ready, ready for some piping. The only thing I'm not sure on yet, I don't know if I'm going to keep the stock white um, PCIe slot covers uh, or if I'm going to swap them out for black. The thing is, is there's there's quite a few white accents on the motherboard and I planned on bringing that in to the cabling as well. So I'm going to wait and see how everything ties together before I decide whether I'm going to swap these out or not. For now, I'm just going to keep them, but uh, we'll, we'll see how that looks. And then let me just spin this around to the back side and show you guys all of the um, cable management. Now I'm not I'm not going to do a custom cable for the um, 8 pin because uh, you don't see it and just for the sake of time I got too much going on it's just going to save me a little bit of time and hassle and I could get this in and get everything pretty much ready to go. So um, I showed you guys this already. Um, I didn't end up messing around with shortening and sleeving any of the front panel connections because again um, I've just got a lot of stuff going on and it, this just saved me time and to be honest the way I routed everything is so clean that it's not really gonna matter anyway and you don't see any of that stuff so this is actually the cable um, this one I did have to, to cut and sleeve and create this this three pin extension here that plugs into a three pin splitter that goes into my two LED strips in the front um, because those are dimmable through the 12 volt three pin fan connector up here so um, I don't have to have them running full blast on my components. Um, not going to mess with sleeving the um, SATA data uh, power cable, not data, but power cable, because one, um, this helps keep it a lot more low profile, uh, and two, you just, I just don't want to. I, I'm too busy with other stuff, as I already said. So anyway, um, let's see if I can get a good shot down here. What we have going on. So obviously, um, got my drain valve, and I wanted to make sure that I cable managed in such a way that I mean, there's literally no obstruction whatsoever down here. I'm easily going to be able to bring a nice fat custom full length 24 pin cable over up through my Velcro straps and in and very cleanly route that. Um, graphics cards will probably come in through the front and down you know under the shroud but uh, as you can see I mean it is squeaky clean down here. Again I, I took another piece of acrylic um, I left this one glossy as well, although it picks up dust so easily. But the reflections off of it with all of the hardware down here, uh, I thought ended up looking really cool, so I just left it that way. Um, the only thing I left to do, I didn't realize I was out of male um, Molex pins, so hopefully those will come in tomorrow or the next day. But for now, because um, I did cut down the cables on the pump um, and sleeve those and <laughs> it wasn't until I had everything done so this guy as soon as I get that I'll, I'll finish him off that's gonna be the only Molex plug-in anyway and I will have to create a real short um, you know Molex connection there but aside from that um, and this this is not the SSD that's gonna be in here I have a one terabyte going in here but um, this is just a placeholder just so I could make sure that everything was routed properly. This is still going in a different build, but anyway, uh, yeah, I mean, she's pretty much done. I'm real happy with the way everything's turning out so far. Um, the sheer amount of hardware and cabling and everything that I have packed into this tiny little case and it, it's still very, very clean and just, you know, the cables are all discreetly routed. 
um, and easily accessible. There's not things piling on top of one another in such a way that if I had to change anything out, granted, it's a real tight fit in the front, and that's going to be the type of loop that if I have to exchange, you know, swap out a component, it's going to be a real pain in the rear. But such is the case with many water cooled builds, so that it is what it is. But um, I don't know. I'm real happy with everything so far. Uh, you guys let me know what you think or let me know if you have any questions, any ideas, things that I can do better or things that you could do better that you need my help with. Um, whatever it is, feel free to ask. Again, as I said in the last video, I don't always do the greatest job responding to YouTube comments, but Definitely hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, whatever, because I at least get the notifications there all the time. So uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call this the end of part three. Hopefully, I'll be able to show you guys the finished build within the next three or four days. But, um, you know, that may be wishful thinking. I'm going to be working on other stuff anyway. So regardless, I'm going to have some goodies to show you guys. But uh, anyway... I will see you guys in the next one.